Hey guys, if you have been struggling with dark spots, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, in today's video, I am going to be showing you my three ways to get more even toned skin. If you are interested, make sure to stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know me, I'm Shoshana and I test skincare products for brown girls all around the world. And I also do DIYs and a little bit of how-tos just for you guys on skincare and all that stuff. So as I told you guys in today's video, I will be discussing my top three ways to like beat up hyperpigmentation. That was really intense. If you guys have seen, I think it's my video on how to get rid of acne scars. Yeah, no, no, cystic acne. How to get rid of cystic acne. I talk a little bit about how um, you will have that scarring from the acne, but there are ways to get rid of it. And today I'm gonna give you my top three. I don't wanna overwhelm you guys and I wanna keep this video pretty short. My number one way to get rid of hyperpigmentation will be exfoliating you knew i was gonna say exfoliating the skincare guru too girl i knew it yeah definitely want to exfoliate 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 now you don't want to overdo it but i would say at least three times two to three times a week you can use a physical exfoliant or you can also use a um chemical exfoliant like an aha or a bha exfoliating your skin will actually speed up the renewing and the rejuvenating process of your normal skin cycle it usually takes between 20 28 to 29 days to see like new skin but if you want to speed that process up along you definitely are going to want to exfoliate and also it kind of sloughs off all of the dead skin that you are um like that is holding on to your skin Number two thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is use a vitamin C serum. Vitamin C serums are really, really amazing and I actually just started using um, a vitamin C serum actually after my uh, acne scar that I had right here and it has been working beautifully. So just so you guys know, vitamin C serums actually have antioxidants and they assist in breaking down the free radicals that are unleashed by the sun. So what does that mean? It basically means that it stops overproduction of melanin. Now wait, hold on girl. I'm not trying to whiten your skin, but what I'm trying to tell you is, is that you already are born with all of the melanin in you. You know what I'm saying? You beautiful brown girl, you. You're born with that melanin. However, when you have overproduction of the melanin on top of the melanin that you already have, that typically creates dark spots. Well, dark spots in regards to um, maybe over sun exposure. And a lot of times what we don't realize is, is that we get over sun exposure if we exfoliate. See, when you are exfoliating, you're actually taking off a layer of your skin. And so it leaves your skin super susceptible to the sun, which is amazing because you get that vitamin D. But then at the same time, it's kind of like a win-lose situation. That's why you need to protect yourself. You're gonna wanna make sure that you are doing a vitamin C serum. So I have two vitamin C serums that I'm using. I have one that I use for day and night, and then I have an actual vitamin C oil that I use too. If you guys are interested in knowing some of these products, like make sure that you um, comment down below. And so, um, if let me know if you want me to do a video on the brands that I've been using that have been helping me out. Going on to number three, the number three way to get rid of hyperpigmentation and to combat dark spots and acne scars and get an even toned skin is, can I get a drum roll? That's my drum roll. Sunscreen, that's right brown girl, it's sunscreen. Yes you, yes, yes you chocolate girl, you need some sunscreen and I'm gonna tell you why. Skin's overexposure to the sun over time will eventually cause aging and instead of other skin types like Caucasian skin types when they are overexposed to the sun, their aging process is wrinkles our aging process is typically fine lines, but more importantly, hyperpigmentation. So as I said, I would definitely suggest that you use between a 28 and a 30. And I always use my SPF underneath my makeup or my concealer or whatever it is that I'm using. And I don't use very much because you don't need that much. But yeah, I just make sure to use it daily. I don't care if it is sun, rain, sleet, hail, snow, tornadoes, like tsunamis, we're using this SPF. Okay, you guys, that's it. I hope this video was super helpful. I know it was quick, but 
you didn't really need me to talk for that long. If you guys are interested in knowing more about the brands that I have been using personally, then let me down below. Let me know down below in the description box. Okay, and uh, there was one more thing. Oh, make sure to subscribe. Tell all your friends, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your sister, tell your cousin. Go on ahead. You've already watched three of my videos, so I know you want to subscribe. Be a part of the Glow Nation, and yeah. Also, you guys, I have a few coupon codes down for you guys below in the description box. So if you guys are looking to purchase some of my favorite skincare products and skincare brands, look down below, because I got you, girl. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.